Today's craft is inspired by the forest's natural beauty, a powerful yet graceful running waterfall. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Hi and thank you for joining me again and if you're new then a big warm welcome to my channel Terrarium and Crafts. I post several times a week where I share with you unique content including beginners videos and my very own crafty tips, hacks and secrets. So if you don't want to miss all this and more make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. Today I'm going to be participating in another challenge. This one is hosted by Denise Jordan, Measure and Mix, hosted by Chrissy and Lacey Space. I'm also going to include the playlist of all other participants in my description box. So what we have to do is create a container garden. It's up to us what we do and how we do it. And I just can't wait to show you what I've got because it's really unique and magical. So I just want to show you this really quickly. This is a container challenge in itself, but I made this for the $5 Goodwill challenge. So if you're new to my channel, I will link this for you if you want to check that out. So today I'm going to be using these beautiful planters. This was actually gifted to me and I haven't got to use it yet. So once you've taken your plant and repotted it, you want to make sure that you leave some space down at the bottom. So I've got mine all up here, and then I've got some space here at the bottom to work with. now we get to the really exciting part this is something i've been wanting to show you all for the longest time ever how to make a waterfall so to make your waterfall you're going to grab a bottle and this is going to act as the structure you're going to cut it out and we're going to be using hot glue as the main material So the trick here when you're doing your waterfall is to make sure that your glue gun isn't too hot because if the temperature is too hot or if you've had it on for too long it's just going to melt the plastic away and you do not want that to happen because it won't look like a waterfall at all. Once your structure is done, take some white acrylic paint and gently dry brush on the waterfall that you've made. This is just going to mimic the water moving and make it look really realistic and bring it to life. And if you want, you can apply colour to this first, so you can have a blue waterfall if you want. Um, you can also use the blue hot glue sticks, so that's an option for you. I just feel like this is more realistic because when you see a waterfall flowing you don't really see a blue waterfall it tends to be clear and then just have parts of it where it's white so that's why I'm choosing to leave it clear but that's just down to you so I'm just going to show you how I apply my white acrylic paint to the piece So 
So I have finished and I'm just letting my waterfall dry. So while our waterfall dries, we're going to carry on making this. So I've gone in with some neutral moss and some light green moss here and added some miniature shells and a few stones to the side there. I'm also just going to take some of this glitter and scatter some on here. And I've taken some of my small starfish, just added two there. You can go in with as much detailing as you want, like with these gemstones or these glass pebbles. Got a pearl garland, so I cut some of that and I put one inside here in the shell and that's how I've decorated it so far so you can see some pearl garland beads there and then some of the gemstones just want this to look really magical and to finish it off I'm taking my small unicorn that I've been dying to use and I'm just placing him on here it also came with this so I'm going to use this probably add some double sided tape and just pop that on there so this is how it currently looks at the moment all we've got is pretty much just the waterfall to finish now and don't worry about any debris falling into the water because <laughs> that will just make it look more natural i think now that your waterfall is dry we're going to make it even more realistic so grab your mud pudge and so all you're going to do is take your mud pudge take your paintbrush and apply a layer all over your waterfall this is going to dry clear but it's going to make it look wet so it's as if it's actually water i've now gone over the whole waterfall with some mud pudge so we're going to leave this to dry i'm also just going to take some of this and add that to the water let's have a look at the final diy shall we So there's the mermaid, just bathing in a shell with some magical water, the starfish and all of the decorative pieces and the unicorn just shading under the tree with a magical rainbow on top and then we have the shell with the waterfall running out. really tried to make today's DIY very different by creating a garden but sort of a coral magical garden and I think that I have delivered I don't know let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget if you want to see more creative content like this make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications and if you've enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next DIY bye when the cats take over your craft table look at him just spreading himself out can you say bye to everyone? nope busy cleaning yourself